just going to go over in this video how to use the clone tool and also the array tool. So I've got my box here. I'm just going to scale it down again. I'm going to use my steel drum as a reference for that. So I'm just going to press R, scale it uniformly. And then if I wanted to copy or duplicate this or even clone it, I can just press and hold control while tapping V. And these are my clone options. For instance, I can make a copy of it, press OK, move that along. Or if I press control V and make an instance of it, it means that if I was to go in and modify this box by changing some of the vertices, the original on the copy would actually be identical. So it means that if I was ever placing objects around and then I noticed that I had to make some adjustments, adjustments to them, I wouldn't then again have to delete and uh, reduplicate those objects. The array tool is found in Tools, Array. And what this allows you to do is to duplicate multiple of one or multiples of your object instead of one at a time. So for instance, I can do an array of 10. I can also have a preview here, which will show me. At the minute, it's just duplicating them on top of each other so you won't actually see anything. What I can do though is I could move this uh, in the X value. So you can see that I've got my 10 boxes there coming out. Um, I can also do it in the Y and I could do it in the Z. So you can plan out where you want your duplicates to happen. So for instance, if you're doing a white picket fence, you could have that very easily. Um, other things that you can do in your array is the scale. So I can scale these down as well. Um, I can make it uniform. So it's scaling all together. And I'll just move these across, show preview. So you can see each one is scaling by 72 each time. So they're getting smaller as they go along. I can also, also rotate these. So each one's been rotated by minus 29 degrees on the Y each time. Again, I can do that in the X. I can do that in the Z also. I can also up the count. So I can make more of these if I wanted to. If your computer's finding it hard to actually uh, cope with these, especially in the preview, you can display as box. Okay, It'll cut out all the detail and make it easier to render. And then when you're happy, you just press OK. And that's it done.